Scott, Scott, first, first day back for Forest Green today. The heavens open, but you're going to love being here. Yeah, it was, um, it was a strange feeling really because obviously pre-season's usually uh, cooking hot sun and uh, lads gasping for water, but it was a little bit different today. Obviously the, the heavens opened and it was a bit torrential at times, but um, a good session, a good first one. Uh, a lot of work with the balls because we have uh, fitness testing uh, to do over the next two days, so we didn't want to push the boys too hard so that their fitness test results um, are hampered, so we have to be mindful of that. So, a good first session, really enjoyed it. It was quite interesting, some of the existing players that were, were here before you joined actually today remarked to me, we're, we're using the balls, and they were quite upbeat about that. Yeah, I think... So different methods for different coaches, I guess. Yeah, of course, there's no, there's no um, right way or wrong way. The, I think it's just our way. We we like to uh, make sure that the balls have uh, the boys have a lot of contact time with the football um, because that's the the way we're going to play. Hopefully, and we're going to try and um, dominate possession. So in order for us to do that, they have to be comfortable with the ball from day one. So yeah, that's that's the way we're going to probably run things. It's a new team. Nine signings. Mark Cooper saying the squad still has got time to evolve. There probably could be two or three more players to come. You know, like I said, you've brought in nine. It must be great to sort of get to work with these people and, and also you and Mark go back a long way. Yeah, it's, it's exciting times, isn't it? Because we've, we've, I think already with what Forest Green achieved last year was fantastic. So they must have been a uh, quality already here, which we know. Um, we feel we've strengthened that. And like you say, we're going to try and bring in some more as well hopefully before the start of the season so that's an ongoing thing at the moment but yeah no it's exciting times I think um, it's clear to see we're a, a football club that has a clear plan um, and wants to do well and be successful and, and uh, you know we're looking forward to, to, to starting. I guess when the call came from Mark you, you were at Swindon it, it was still a difficult decision but in some ways a, a no-brainer I guess? Um, I think that uh, Mark and myself had spoke um, over a period of time and I think the idea was that I was always going to probably be coming and work with Mark anyway. Um, and uh, no, it was, a, it was a right decision in my mind for sure. Um, as I say, I'm a football club that's got a, a real direction, so I think it was exactly a no-brainer. Yeah. What type of coach are you, Scott? Um, enthusiastic, hard-working. Um, I'm usually the first thing in the morning and last to leave one of them and I try and study and work out how we can be better all the time and always looking to improve myself as well um, and um, as I say we like to dominate possession and we like to play good football so um, that's hopefully what you'll see. And also I mean you've coached at all levels haven't you, all age groups as well so you're, you're, you're quite a, a rounded man really. Yeah, I sort of like worked, um, I was the first team coach at uh, Lincoln City in League Two. Uh, I actually took over for a spell, I was caretaker manager for a spell there, so I've got experience working with first team pros. I was also assistant manager in the conference a couple of years ago at Tamworth, uh, again working with full time pros. Um, and then the last sort of like job I had was obviously at Swindon Town where I was developing players, which is a different job again, you know, so I was working with pretty much under 21s downwards. Um, to, to sort of like 17 year olds um, and then before that, um, a long time before that I was working at Gillingham Football Club with even the younger ones so I've pretty much, pretty much done every age group really so no, it's, uh, it's all valid experience. I can remember you as a player as well, talk, talk about your playing career, you've got a lot of experience there as well. Um, yeah, I, I played pretty much at every level of non-league um, and I played in League 2 as well um, with Gillingham. Um, I was um, very aggressive and hard working and um, a fit strong boy but I, I could probably never get into a Mark Cooper team. I was never good enough quality to, to do that. Uh, fortunately my coaching is, is completely different from the way I play. Are you um, sim similar characters or are you, you, you different? Did you sort of, you know, good, good cop, bad cop? Or? Um, I think we see things very similar, obviously. Um, we have to. We agree on a lot of things. Um, there'll be times where um, I think it's important that Mark will stamp his authority down because he's the manager, of course. Um, but no, there's no real good cop, bad cop. I think we just see things very similar and 
and hopefully we'll get the best out of the players. Okay, cheers Scott. Thank you. Thank you.